Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, College Management System. And uh, I have developed this project in Java, GSP, and MySQL. The version for the JDK. I am using the JDK 1.8, and the Topcat version is 7, and the MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting the MySQL with uh, JDK, I am using the MySQL J connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. Also. Uh, if you are running the uh, Eclipse server or the NetBeans server, NetBeans ID, then you can configure this project on the NetBeans and Eclipse also. But the mandatory thing is the JDK version 1.8 must be available there. Also, uh, the JDK 1.8 must be there, right? So, this is the server side requirements and the uh, server side scripting requirements for front end development. I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like uh, current integration, form validations, and many more things I have integrated in that. Okay, for giving some good effects inside the project. Okay, so let's start with the functionality. Go through. So, the project title is College Management System, and I have developed this project in Java, JSP, and MySQL. It's a web based mini project. You can say web based DBMS mini project right okay so let's start with the functionality also. so this is the home page of the project you can see this is the home page of the project this is about us right if you want to change then you can change it from the about.jsp page this is the admin login from where admin will be able to log in and this is a contact us from where uh, you can send the message but this is a static page i'm not sending a type of email and sms from this page right so you can treat it as a static form right so this is the admin login so it's a mini project I, as i told you earlier right it contains only and only admin login functionality right once you log in uh, let me uh, so this is admin login and the user id is admin and the password test once you click on the login then you will get the admin dashboards you you can see this is a college management system dashboard and these operation admin can perform admin can add the students admin can see the student reports admin can add the fees admin can see the fees report admin can add the attendance and admin can see the attendance reports right so same menu is available also in the header bar so you can see this is the student from where admin will be able to add the students so you can see this is the student form this is the add face right so these drop downs are coming from the database so if you add a new student then the student ID will become here right so this is for the add face and this is for the add attendance so once you click on the add attendance then this drop down will contain all of the students which you have added from the admin panel and you can select the date and time and the out time right so this is for the attendance right this is the add student add fees and add attendance right this is a report a students report right even you can edit and update the report from here too right once you click on that you will get a student updated successfully even fees report this is a fees report you can edit it and you can update it also right this is the attendance report from where you will be able to see all of the uh, attendance of the students right so this is the attendance report this is a change password from where admin will be able to change his account password and after changing his account password he will be able to log in with his updated account password right so this is a change password form this is a logout so once you log out from the system then session will be destroyed and above menu will not come so the above menu is totally session driven and if you log out from the system then you can see the above menu is not coming because it's a session driven the session has been destroyed right once you log in then you will be able to see the above menu is coming because it's a session driven the admin is logged in the session is shut that's why it's rendering if you log out then the menu is not coming right so you can check the this is a non-login menus right so these are functionalities i have developed this in this project college management system as i told you earlier this is a mini project java jsp mysql mini project right 
So if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest project videos or the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.